What's up everyone, Dapblade here with a hunter's guide to all the layered armour in Monster Hunter World prior to Iceborne's release. Layered armors are something hunters would want to consider getting their hands on as it allows you to cover whatever armour you are wearing with a more uniformed look. As the smithy says, it's essential for covering up the clown suit you're wearing. But how do you go about getting your laid armors? Well, the laid armors are given to you via quests in the form of deliveries. Normally, they're given to you by the smithy and he'll tell you to go collect a certain item and then afterwards you go to the resource center, scroll down to the deliveries tab and then complete whatever delivery you desire. But what are the laid armors players can get prior to the release of Iceborne? Unfortunately though, I can only show you the male versions of the laid armor in this video as I don't have access to all the female laid armors, unfortunately. Anyway, first of all are the Bushi laid armors. These give your hunter a samurai-esque look and there are multiple versions of it as well. But how do you craft them? Well, the main ingredient are Bushi tickets. These are found from doing Kulv Tarof, either normal or arch tempered. They will also need additional materials, but these are fairly common ones found from all of the monsters in Monster Hunter World. Next is the Brigade Layered Armor. This is quite a fancy set with an awesome hat, but how do you get it? Well, once you've progressed through the game far enough, you'll have a quest breaking out of the Brigade. And this requires research points, a Hunter King coin, Hunter King coins are found up in the Gathering Hub by taking on challenge quests, normally the mid-tier ones, and a high commendation that is easily obtained from Elder Dragons. Next is the Blossom Layered Armor. This is obtained by taking on the delivery quest, but in Blossoms. This is pretty simple to craft, all you need are research points and Kirin tickets found from Arch Tempered Kirin to craft yourself this Spring Blossom Fest themed Layered Armor. Next is the Death Stench Layered Armor, that gives you a Grim Reaper Layered Armor. This is from the delivery Death Becomes You. And to gain this, you need research points, Valhazak tickets, and Sinister Cloth. Valhazak tickets are gained from doing Arch Tempered Valhazak, and the Sinister Cloth is gained from your Tell Rider Safari. Next is the Diver Layered Armor. This is found from taking on the delivery Deep Dive Down. This is a pretty straightforward one, all you need is research points and Summer Twilight tickets, which will again be made available soon. Next is the Shadow Shades Layered Armor. This is a laid armor only for your head, and you need to take on the delivery lurking in the shadows. For this you'll need research points, a summer twilight ticket again, summer twilight tickets are gained from doing daily limited bounties or from your login bonus. But you'll also need black crystal tickets, these are gained from the event quest A Flash in the Pan, which has you taken on free city yaku. Next is the butterfly layered armor, this is from the delivery quest Float Like Butterflies and requires research points, Summer Insect Field Guide, which is from the Challenge Event Quest, Gajalaka Outbreak, and you'll need Great Horn Flies, which are found from your garden. Next is Dante's Layered Armor. This will make you look like the famous Devil May Cry character, and is from the, the delivery quest known as Dante's Inferno. And for this, you'll need research points, some Teostra tickets found from Arch Tempered Teostra, and Red Orbs found from the Event Quest Code Red. Next is the Draken Layered Armor. This is found from the delivery known as the Honor of the Draken and requires research points, a Glamour Prism, which is found from defeating Extreme Behemoth, and Nova Crystals. Nova Crystals are just found from mining. Next is the Guild Cross Layered Armor. This is found from the delivery quest known as Cross My Heart. To craft this, you need research points, Kushala de Aura tickets found from Arch Tempered Kushala and Ace Hunter Coins. Ace Hunter Coins are acquired from taking on the harder challenge quests found up in the Gathering Hub. Next is the Harvest Layered Armor. This is from the delivery quest known as Time to Harvest. This Halloween themed Layered Armor requires research points and Autumn Harvest tickets in order to craft it. Autumn Harvest tickets are found during the Autumn Harvest Fest, so it will be in about a fortnight's time and they're gained from login bonuses as well as daily limited bounties. Next is the Moss Swine Laid Armor. This is from the delivery quest known as the Whole Hog. This has players wearing a pig mask on their head. But to craft it you'll need research points, faux tickets which are either found from Moss Swine and Dining or a Royal Pain and Moss Swine Hide which is found from actually killing the Moss Swine. Next is the Faux Feline Laid Armor set allowing your head to become a Palico head and it's from the delivery known as Just the Foe. To craft this you need research points, Foe tickets again, which again are from Moss Wining and Dining or a Royal Pain, and a Tell Rider voucher, which is from your Tell Rider Safari. Next is the Sakura Layered Armor. This is for consoles only. This is from the delivery known as Blooming Sakura. 
and requires research points, Lunostra tickets from Arch Temple to Lunostra, and Street Fighter V tickets too, which is from the challenge event quest known as Empress in Full Bloom. This turns you into Sakura from Street Fighter V. Next is the Origin Layered Armor Set, giving your hunter a classic set of armor. To get this you need to take on the delivery known as the Original Origin and requires research points, Zora Magdaros tickets from Arch Tempered Zora Magdaros and High Commendations from Elder Dragons. Next is the Aloy Layered Armor Set. This is for PlayStation 4 only. This is acquired from completing the delivery quest known as Beyond the Horizon. And to craft it you need research points, Aloy tickets from the event quest The Heart of the Nora that has players taken on two Tempered Devil Joe and a Nora Brave Trophy which is acquired from the event quest known as The Proving which has players taken on a normal giant Angela. Next is the Commission Layered Armor, one of my personal favourites, at least for male hunters. Anyway, to craft this you need to complete the delivery known as Commanding the Commish and requires research points Xenojiva tickets found from Arch Tempest Xenojiva and Research Commission tickets. Research Commission tickets are a little bit tricky to get, you can only get them from two certain optional quests, one being the Sapphire Star Guidance and the other being the White Winds of the New World. Anyway, next is the Orion Laid Armor set, giving you a Christmas themed Laid Armor. This is from the delivery known as Freds of the Orion. And all you need to craft this is research points and Winter Star tickets. Winter Star tickets are from when the Winter Star Fest is active, and you get them as a reward for your daily login bonus or for completing the daily limited bounties. Anyway, next is the Sealed Eye Patch Laid Armor. This is acquired by completing the delivery quest known as Quite the Eyesore. And what you need for this are research points, foe tickets too. These are required from taking on the event quest King's No No Fear and a black bandage, which is acquired from the event quest Scrapping with the Shamos. Next is the Wiggler Head Armor, turning your head into a Wiggler and it's from the delivery quest known as Wiggly Wobbly Woo. All you need for this is a research points, foe tickets too again and Wiggler tickets. Wiggler tickets are found from the event quest known as Wiggle Me This. Next is the Skull Mask Laid Head Armor, for this you need to complete the delivery known as Scalping for Skulls and requires research points, foe tickets free, which are found from the Greatest Jagras, and an unknown skull, which is a rare drop from bone piles found in the Elder's Recess. Next is the Kuluyaku layered head armor, which turns your head into a Kuluyaku. This is from the delivery quest known as Klutzy Kulu Capers. And for this you'll need research points, the foe ticket free again, and Kuluyaku tickets found from Egg Lovers United. Anyway, next is the Ryu Layered Armor Set. This turns you into Ryu from Street Fighter V. And to get this, you need to complete the delivery known as Wandering Martial Artist. To craft this, you need research points, Nogagante tickets found from Arch Tempered Nogagante, and Street Fighter V tickets free, found from taking on the challenge quest, the Awakened Satsui no Hado. Next is the Gala Suit Layered Armor, giving your hunters a very sparkly suit. For this, all you need are research points and appreciation tickets to craft. Appreciation tickets are found during the Appreciation Fest as your login bonus or as a reward for completing daily limited bounties. Next is the Beetle Layered Armor, giving you an Insectoid Layered Armor. For this you need to complete the delivery known as Bugging Out. And this requires research points, Beetle tickets found from the event quest known as the Names Lavasiov and Great Hornflies. Great Hornflies are found from your garden. Next is the Bayek Layered Armor set, turning you into the protagonist of Assassin's Creed Origins. This is from the delivery quest known as Becoming an Assassin and requires research points and Senua's Feathers to craft. Senua's Feathers are found from the event quest SDF Silent Deadly Fears. Next is the Geralt Layered Armor set. This turns you into Geralt of Rivia from the Witcher franchise, namely the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. And to get this you have to complete the delivery known as Geralt of Rivia, which requires research points and mutagens to craft. Mutagens are a rare drop or reward from taking on the Ancient Leshen in the event quest known as Contract Woodland Spirits. And then finally is the Siri Layered Armor, turning you into Siri from the Witcher Free Wild Hunt. To do this you have to complete the delivery known as Sorella, Fiona, Ellen, Rihanna. And again this requires research points and mutagens to craft. So there we have it, those are all the laid armors in Monster Hunter World prior to the release of Monster Hunter World Iceborn. I'm sure we will be getting more when Iceborn is released. It's a shame in some respects that there wasn't more. I kind of wish that we could get laid armor versions of standard armor sets as some of them are really good looking. For me personally, I've always liked the Rathalos set for example. And it's just a shame we've never got it in laid armor form. But things may change with Iceborn. We were able to transmogrify our gear with other Monster Hunter games. 
so I couldn't see the harm in adding more layered armors to Monster Hunter World when Iceborne releases. But anyway, I hope you found this video helpful, and until next time, I've been Darblade, bringing you a guide to all the layered armors in Monster Hunter World. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.